G'day friends, if LUTs have you scratching your head, you're in the right place. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to install LUTs in DaVinci Resolve and fix the one thing that almost everyone forgets to do when loading LUTs. Let's get into it. All right, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to load in some footage into your timeline. So drag some footage across into your window here under the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve and then drag it into here and you can cut it by dragging and going, you know, cut it left cut it right and then drag down just a bit you cut into the bottom window and now we've got some footage in there to actually color correct we go over to the cog on the right hand side here down the bottom click that cog scroll up and select color management now if you scroll down you'll see look up tables window here and you've got this open LUTs folder so if you open that LUT folder like so it'll open up a folder and that's the path that the LUT folder is in. I'm just going to make that a bit bigger so you can see it. Now, if you right click in the white area and just do new folder, we're going to put, we're going to call it uh, Real Prodigy LUTs because I'm going to put my LUTs into that folder. Now, I've got some LUTs here from my 51 Movie LUTs Super Pack. As you can see here, they all are the little cube files. So it says cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all of those files, we're just going to drag and highlight them all, and we're going to drag them along and put them into the Real Prodigy LUTs folder, like so, and they'll copy in. Then you can close that window down, and close the other window down, and this is the part that everybody forgets to do. If you don't click the Update List folder here, it won't refresh and they won't load inside DaVinci Resolve. So if you delete them, you've got to do update list to refresh it. And if you install them, you've got to do update list to refresh it. So we're going to click that now. And then we're going to go save. Now if you go to the color tab, your window will probably be in gallery mode, which is this one here. If you click on LUTs, which is up the top, you'll see that DaVinci Resolve has a whole bunch of their own LUTs that are in there. But if you scroll down until you see Real Prodigy, for instance, Real Prodigy LUTs, click on that and we've got all the LUTs installed ready to go. Now these LUTs are from my LUT Super Pack, as I said, they're all basically um, favorite movies uh, of mine with color profiles of those movies. So you've got Apocalypse Now and Barbie and Ballerina and all that kind of stuff. So you've got all these new movies and old movies that are really cool in style. You can use these LUTs to make your footage stand out. And so if you look at 1917, for instance, if you just scroll through, you can see what it does to your footage. Then all you have to do is you pick a LUT that you like We'll say the ballerina one we just pick it and drag it down onto our footage and go back to the edit tab and there you go your LUT has been applied it hasn't been fully corrected of course but it's been applied if you want to learn more about LUTs and how to use them give this video here a look thanks for watching